Thank you. Okay, it took me like a few minutes to actually find one of these again. But, anyways, hey everybody, Quayo here, welcoming you back to play once more. And I just want to show so that I just want to show that I caught a Phoebus off screen, and this here where I just fished is a spot on my game where you can catch one. So, but I did catch one. Actually, that's the first time I've uh, hit a random encounter while surfing on that pond. Because uh, I'll be honest, uh, after I finished the last video off screen, I was like, hey, what the hell, you know, maybe I'll see if I can find a Phoebus. And guess what? It took me forever to find one, but I found him. And I can finally say that I caught another Phoebus, and I know exactly where a spot on my game, well, on this play of this cartridge, or not really a cartridge, but on this play, I finally found a spot where I can uh, catch a Phoebus. Or a Feebass, or whatever you want to call it. I want to repel, too. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if, uh... I'll show off the, like, gaming contest or whatever. The, you know, the personality contest or whatever you want to call them. I'll show those off, and see if I can evolve that Phoebus. Because that's how you're supposed to evolve it, is you're supposed to evolve it by giving him, like, these, uh, these blocks and shit that help, like, uh, improve, like, one of his attributes. So, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I do want to do is, you'll notice here there's a gym. But guess what? I can't go there. Because something unseeable is in the way. This took me forever to find out, to figure out. Because, uh, you think, you know, oh yeah, you're supposed to do something in a... Oh yeah, this guy has something to say. There, go bird Pokemon. I asked my wing Wingle to run an errand for me. There's something on the TV, by the way. Oh, it's one of these things again, really? Okay, well... I guess we'll... Uh, I'm not gonna read this out loud again because I've... This is the same thing... They say the same thing every time. So, you know, you think, you know, there's something unseeable is in the way of getting to the gym, and you think, oh, you must have something to do in this town. Well, guess what? You don't. It's not in the town. So you think, oh, man, I must have missed something in the last town. So uh, I'm going to go back a few towns. I'll go back to Mauville City. I'll go back to Fall Arbor Town. Maybe there's something there. Maybe I'll go back to... Uh, what's that? Oh, I keep... Lava Ridge Town or whatever it's called? Maybe there's something there I missed. No, there's nothing. What you have to do is... You need to go this way. Yeah, okay. Repel's effect wore off. Oh, fuck. I forgot there's trainers here. Actually, you know what? I'll talk over this battle. Maybe there's, uh... I totally forgot there's trainers here. How many Pokemon? Oh, two Pokemon. And it's a Goldeen for one, because I can just take that out with the Leaf Blade. So, anyways. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, about getting, uh, figuring out this, uh, this whole, uh, part in the game. I th you thought, you know, you'd have to go back, or maybe you had to, you missed something at the Weather Institute. No, guess what? Uh, you have to go ahead and find, go back, go up and uh, get your item up there. It's past the town. Like, how am I supposed to figure that? Well, uh, I suppose it's not hard, but still, like, it really brain brain fucked me. Because obviously, you know, you can't fly yet because you don't have the badge of uh, that town that you, uh, of that gym. And you need to get to that gym, but you can't because something unseeable is in the way. So... As soon as I figured that out, I was like, really? Uh, there is something, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. I can, I can still cut, which I'm still not very happy about. Because I am going to need some, uh... Some moves for Garby to know, and there is an item over here. A rare candy, good. Perfecto. You know what? Actually, how, uh... I know Quayo just leveled up. Yeah, you know what? Let's use it on Quayo. Just because uh, he's not going to be very useful for a little while. Because first of all, this gym we're going up against uh, is a flying type gym. Agility. Uh, really? Do I need agility? He already has good speed as is. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to use agility. <coughs> Whoops. Okay, he doesn't need a leaf stone. He doesn't evolve that way yet. Oh yeah, see, there's another one here. Oh yeah, and there's Gabby... Speaking of Gabby and, uh... What's-his-face. They're up there, and... By the way, those are the three spots that you find them in, so... 
After this, it's no big worry, and I should have used a repel, but oh well. Speaking of which, uh, in this game, I actually, in like, in one of my really, really old versions of gold, I actually played, uh, I actually found a shiny Oddish. Shinies aren't really, uh, for some reason, I don't know, I, I don't encounter shinies, uh, very often in this, in this series compared to the last series of the series, uh, or the series ahead, to be honest. I found more in the, uh, the fourth generation games than, uh, than this generation, so. I don't know, I think they may have changed that, or maybe they, uh, changed it back in the fourth generation or something. They did something, and, and, uh, I'm just gonna continue on. Yeah, hey Steven, this is Steven, obviously. Hmm, Mikey, hi, it's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on this invis invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Mikey, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Sure. Mikey, show me your true power as a Pokemon trainer. Sorry. The Devon Scope. <clears throat> and this here is Kecleon. This guy... Is I'm pretty sure this was the first guy they uh, they showed off in uh, in the anime television show, like the first guy of the third uh, third generation. So I think they showed him off in the f second generation, somewhere in the second generation episode where I think they this is the first uh, third generation guy they introduced. So yeah, just a little uh, trivia there. Uh, this thing uh, when you attack it with a certain type, it becomes that type. So now I use Leaf Blade, and now he becomes a Grass type. I use Pursuit, and he became a Dark type. This guy does not evolve in this game. I don't know if he evolves in later games, but he doesn't in this game. I don't really follow. Wow, he's been landing a lot of critical hits on him. Actually, I think you could have just ran from him. That would have been much better. I see your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon had obviously shown, uh, have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Actually, no, it's just Kecleon. That's uh, the only concealed guy. <laughs> no, what I was going to say was, uh, I don't know if that guy evolves or anything like that. I don't really follow the newer newer Pokemon all that well. I kind of stopped uh, a little... I wasn't really too into it at, at this generation. I mean, I was still like really like into you know the games and all that. But I, I kind of... By the time this game came out, I kind of stopped watching the TV show. I, uh... I still play this game a lot. I just want to go down this way, to be honest. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start... Can you run from these things? I have a repel, for fuck's sake. So, you know, I can... I shouldn't be able to battle these guys. These guys wouldn't be bad to have on your team. Yeah, you can run from them, but they don't... Okay, yeah, they just run away. A nest ball. I think that's a ball that's good for catching bug and water type Pokemon. Which I don't really see the point of, but whatever. It's just another ball to add to your sack. That sounded a little, uh... That sounded wrong, but and I'm sorry about that. And this is TM11. This is Sunny Day, which, uh... Is useful, I guess, if you want to have a, uh... uh the only reason I would have Sunny Day is if I had Solar Beam with me. So that's kind of the only reason why I would have that move, particularly. Okay, I'm not going to go any further up ahead, because uh, there is a gym, as you saw, in the last town. And I would like to uh, get, a little ahead, get a little ahead in that gym. How's that egg coming in, by the way? I don't have it with me, do I? I should have got that egg out once I, uh, once I got to this town. You know, would have put some steps to uh, making it hatch. No, anyways, I was gonna say I uh, I lost interest like after this series. I mean, I I lost interest in the TV show pretty much when this uh, this, this third generation game came out, and I pretty much lost uh, like after after playing this series. I kind of uh, I kind of came to the stage where I stopped playing video games for a while. Yeah, see, I caught that Phoebus right here. I want to I want to go to the egg, Mr. Egg here. Get Get out Goldeen and put him back in the PC. Yeah, I kind of uh, after I kind of stopped playing the games for a little while, and by the time I stopped playing this game, it kind of got to the point where I stopped playing like not just Pokemon games, but games in general, like all types of video games. Because I don't know, 
I grew up with video games, and it's one of those things where you grow up with them, and then you know you uh, you you kind of lose interest with them. And let's go inside the gym. Yeah, you lose interest in them after playing them for so long. You kind of want to start a new hobby, and this was at the time when you know you're entering high school. Like, yeah, I actually I played like I played this series like it's me and this me playing the series goes a long way. And no, okay, I gotta go this way. So I wasn't thinking straight for a sec. Uh, as I've said before, Xanadu is completely useless. I would like to use Damon. Yeah, you know, all these guys, uh, except maybe Hastings. I can maybe throw Hastings on a few things. Other than that, all these guys are pretty much, like, not useful in this uh, gym at all. So that's why I want to focus. I'm glad Hastings knows Thunderbolt. And I'm glad there's no Gligar in, in this gym either, because uh, I'd be... Actually, I wouldn't be that bad. No, you know, I'd be pretty bad, because I don't have a guy that has any Water-type moves or Ice-type moves. Yet. I totally forgot you can catch Doduo in this game, too. You, can, you have to catch him uh, up ahead, though, I'm pretty sure. No, Damon should fly, hopefully fly through this gym without any trouble. You're, you're strong. Indeed I am. That's aside the fact. So yeah, I lost... Kind of lost an interest in playing games overall. Uh, and this was at the time when it was like uh, transitioning from like, you know, the PS2, X, Re Xbox One, you know, the GameCube. And this was transitioning into the, the Wii, the Xbox 360, and the PS3 generation. It was that, you know, I think it was like, you know, maybe a few years, like 2003 to maybe 2007. I stopped playing playing video games for a little bit. And it's not that I didn't find them fun, it's just, you know, I was trying to... I wanted to find uh, new things to enjoy doing. And this was at the time when, you know, you're... You're getting out of elementary school and you're coming into high school. And, you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, things are changing. You want... You want to do new things with your life and, you know... Like, you want to... You know, you want to you wanna get high and, you know, all that... All that stuff. But... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure this one out. Okay, I think I have it. So yeah, that's uh, after uh, yeah after I played this uh, generation, I played. I didn't really. Uh, I got both Ruby and Sapphire for my Game Boy Advance, but I never really got a. Uh, did I get a Game Boy Advance SP? I don't. I might have gotten a, an SP, but I think I sold it. But after that, I think I, I know I still have my regular Game Boy Advance. I've had I bought that when I was in Florida one time, for the first time actually. I bought my uh, Game Boy Advance, and I bought Pokemon Silver with it shortly after. But no, I think uh, I think I got up to the SP generation, SP part of like uh, the handheld games, and then uh, after that, I never really got into. I never bought Pokemon Emerald. I never bought. Okay, for a second I thought I was hoping that Swell didn't wasn't low on health, but then I looked at it and I was like, and he's all and he's he's all green. I'm like, oh okay, I got nothing to worry about. No, I got. Oh, what was I? What the hell was I talking about? I was talking about Roar, really? Ah, what? What do you know that I can get rid of? Eh, nothing really. No, you're not learning Roar. Fuck that shit. Oh, damn it! No, what I meant to say was, uh... Oh, fuck off. Yes, yeah, stop learning Roar. So... I lost interest in uh, video games for a little bit. I kind of uh, found new... Started doing new stuff. And then... As soon as, like, uh... Grade 10 came around, around 2007, I kind of... I was at that part of my life where I was kind of bored, and I was like, eh, whatever, I'll play, uh... I'll reminisce a little bit, I'll start playing, like, really older games. So I started playing games of my, uh... That I grew up with, like, Yoshi's Island, you know, Donkey Kong Country, Mega Man X, you know, those types of games. And since then, you know, I bought an Xbox 360, I bought... Um... I, I got, I got, a, I got a DS, too. I have a, actually I have a DS and a 3DS. And I've been playing a few new games. Uh, 
I also... The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortry Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. And what membership's that? Sorry about that. Uh... So yeah, I got a whole bunch of new systems since then, and you know, I kind of really uh, been mainstream. Like growing up, like playing like playing video games was like a must when I got home. Like first thing I went, ho I got home was you know I do my homework when I was in, when I was in elementary school. The first thing I do is do my homework real quick, and then you know I pop on uh, my the SNES or the N64, and you know that was pretty much the rest of my night. And I'm like, no, I won't change. Yeah, that was pretty much the rest of my night. My once I played, uh, once I got my hand on a game like whether it be a uh, Super Mario All Stars or Super Mario 64, even Legend of Zelda, you know, my night was set. And it kind of, <laughs> it kind of pissed everyone else in my family off because I, we only had like two TVs at the time, and you know, you know, I think my dad hogged uh, the, the TV downstairs all the time, and you know, nobody wanted to watch whatever was he, whatever he was watching. So my mom came upstairs and she was like, "Oh, you're." You're playing games again? When will I get the TV? So... Had to deal with funny stuff like that. But then... And, you know, this was aw it was awesome at the time because, you know, I live in, like, a really small town. There's, there's only, like, 2,000 people that live in this town. And back when I was in elementary school, there was probably only, like, 1,500. And back then, there was an actual uh, video store, like, where you could rent movies and rent video games in it. And it got up to, you know, like, uh... The N64 generation, so you could rent N64 games, you could rent Super Nintendo games. I don't think I saw any regular NES games there, but I don't, th yeah, I don't think there they had any of the regular NES games. But they definitely had Super Nintendo, and they definitely had a uh, N64. But uh, I think around maybe 10 years ago, they uh, they well, actually I'm pretty sure it was more than 10 years ago now, but they've closed, uh, they've since closed down, and like. There's been like five stores that's uh, that replaced it, and it's been nothing but you know, nothing but shit. Like they've all all these stores have gone in the gutter. Like you know they've only been like in business for a few months just because you know they they don't sell well. I think a sports store replaced the video store at one point and that didn't go very well. I think uh, I think some sort of retail store went went there as well. And I'm just looking at my guys for a sec. Uh, do I have time to fight this gym leader? Hey, you know what? Fuck it, I'll fight her. I think I, I think I'm gonna win. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with Bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of Bird Pokemon and I. Well, yeah, this battle I'm not too concerned about. Oh wow, she has four guys. I thought she had three. Okay, well. Uh, would've been nice if I healed up, but, you know what, fuck it. No need to waste any more time than we have to. If I don't win this battle, I mean, I can try her again in the next episode. I'm, just, I'm not too concerned about it. That's what I did with, uh, that's what my plan was with me. It was like, oh shit on me. Okay, this was the Pokemon I, I was a little scared of. I kind of want to weaken it down a little bit. Yeah, these guys are... Hey, you know what? We'll send out Pinchy, actually. I don't know how good this Altaria is going to be, though. Well, level 33. I think this is our strongest guy, too, so... Oh, no. If it keeps using that, though, that is something that's... Uh, kind of uh, a little risky for me. Well, at least the uh, Rock Tomb reduces speed, and that cancels out the speed part of Dragon Dead. It's like, it raises the attack and the speed. This thing knows Earthquake, which I, I don't understand how this thing can make an Earthquake, but, you know. Oh, yeah, you know what, that's why I can't... Oh, God, no, okay. I was going to say, that's why I can't have... Uh... Fuck. Okay. 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 That's why I can't have uh, Damino because he's gonna use fucking earthquake on it. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay. Uh. Well, 
Garby's gonna have to be a guy that I'm gonna have to risk, like, when I need to. Um... Fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm. No, I can do. I can... I'll send out Xanadu. Screech it up. Okay. So anyways, yeah, to finish off my story... I went to... You know, I... I all, every weekend, I always went to that... That vid... That, uh... That rental video game store. My sister worked there, and she said, you know, it was awesome working there. The people there were really chill and all that. Oh, no, no, no. I was hoping to go first. Shit. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with do here. I really should have just used a... Uh, Fuck! I really should have just used, uh, made a Xanadu attack because of his, uh, shit! I have a feeling I'm, this battle's pretty much done for me. Which, okay, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the loss on this one. Uh, actually, I do have a max revive, though. I have a lot of shit here, too. Yeah, you know what? Sorry, I'm using the Max Revive. I should save this, but... Yeah, anyways, I always... I always every weekend, I always rented a game there. And I played a lot of games. Even, I, I played games I don't even remember the names of now. But, you know, if I see them on, like, on YouTube or something, like in a Let's Play, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, I played that game before. And I'm really hoping Thunderbolt's really going to take uh, take this bitch out. Yes! Awesome. Alright. We actually might have a chance at this. Damon's our all-star in this battle, it looks like. Yeah, I think we're think we're pretty much good from now from here on out. Perfect. So yeah, I always rented games there. I know I said that a million times by now. But, you know, those were That's a small part of, you know, my my history with video games. I mean, like growing up like in school, like I was always like the guy who was the video game like nerd. I was always that guy. So and then I kind of uh, laid off on the games for a little bit and kind of, you know, did my own thing for a while. And then then I kind of just do this on the side. That's kind of why I do these do LPs for, for a little while. Because, you know, if I ever want to play an old play an old game, it's not just because I, I feel like uh, reminiscing. It's because, you know, I can talk over it and, you know, tell stories like this. And what do you know? We got our feather badge. All thank you to Damon. Thank you, Damon. Yeah, okay, level 70. You will also be able to use the move HM, or we will also be able to use Fly, the HM move. And this is a gift. Which is... I think Aerial Ace, which is basically Shockwave but for a flying type. Okay, well... We, I think we've accomplished a lot. We've gotten that item from Steven and we've gotten our badge so I'm gonna call it a video here thank you for watching play once more I will see you in the next one where we'll continue on after this town this is Quayo and I'm out see ya